This is the Men's College Soccer Review presented by the NSCAA with over 30,000 members at all levels of the game. The NSCAA is the largest soccer coaches organization in the world. Join now, take advantage of exclusive member benefits. Become a better coach today at NSCAA.com. And welcome to Portland, Oregon, West Coast Conference Soccer. The Portland Pilots and the San Diego Toreros getting ready right here on the NSCA Game of the Week presented by KFC. Hello, everybody. I'm Dean Linky, along with my broadcast partner, the longtime Georgetown coach, Keith the Batsick. And Keith, this one really about the coaches. First of all, you got the legacy of Clive Charles. Bill Irwin's now been with Portland for 25 years. Seamus McFadden with San Diego for 33 years. Yeah, it's, it's great. I mean, I, I went to watch Billy Irwin play when I was a kid and everything like that. So <laughs> I, I feel young here with these guys around. But yeah, legendary coaches for sure. And, you know, in a, a huge matchup here early in the West Coast Conference season. You know, Dean, the West Coast Conference, they don't go to their own tournament. They play each other, double round robin. So everything means a little bit more when you're playing these games. And they certainly know each other very well. A lot of big games this week, Keith. Well, there were actually. Go to Indiana, Bloomington as well. They were down 2 0. Then they come back early in the second half, two goals within 50 seconds. And then Kenny Walker scores his second goal of the game in overtime to win it for Kenny Lolo in Louisville. Congratulations to them. But how about in the Colonial Athletic Conference? A couple teams kind of making a statement there. Georgia State defeats William and Mary this week. They're now 8 2 and 1. And then also Delaware, Ian Hennessy's team, off to an outstanding start at 7 1 and 1. And a big win for Dr. Dave Mazur. Yeah, Dave Mazur, he is doing it 300 now. He did it both at a lot of them at St. John's. And, and Dave, I got to tell you, I, I, was, I was partly responsible for some of those wins, but congratulations, Dave, and many more. All right, Keith, it's October. We still have a lot of undefeated teams. Yeah, well, actually, we look at it, there's four teams that have not been beaten yet. Two you would expect and two you might not. Maryland and Connecticut, right, no, no losses at all. But then you have New Mexico. They only have two ties right now. They're doing a lot of stuff in the late in the games, tying games and winning games. And then Cal State Bakersfield at 5-0-4, also yet to lose. All right, let's take a look now at the NSCAA Continental Tire Top 25, and there's two of those undefeated teams, Connecticut and Maryland, at 1-2. and two. No, absolutely, and they keep rolling on there. And, uh, you know, Akron, of course, had the loss midweek, and North Carolina with an overtime scare, uh, beating uh, UNC Asheville as well. We talked about New Mexico, 7-0-2. UC Irvine keeps going after beating Santa Barbara. Another win after that. And, of course, Indiana, though, you know, with another loss there, that, you know, uh, midweek loss to Louisville. Let's take a look here at... 11 through 20. Yeah, well, Notre Dame had a tie with Northwestern midweek. And then you look down, UCLA still moving on there. South Florida with a big win midweek. All right, and San Diego State wrapping up the second page. And the final five. Yeah, one of the final five, you see Old Dominion 4-0 over VCU, and that's a good VCU team that they beat. And then we said Cal State Bakersfield at 5-0-4 wrapping up the top 25. Your top 25 are presented by Continental Tire. Continental Tire, innovative technology, driving confidence. Learn more at ContinentalTire.com. How about the Disney Soccer NSEA Players of the Week, Keith? Yeah, well, Casey Townsend at Maryland, he has been doing it. He was the first to score this year against Creighton in Maryland's 1-0 win. He also had a goal earlier that week against Charlotte. 11 goals on in the year, already a career high for Casey Townsend. And the Disney Soccer NSCAA Women's Player of the Week. Yeah, well, Katie Wright, she had nine points in the week. Two Big East wins for Villanova over Pittsburgh and over West Virginia. And that West Virginia game, two goals and two assists for Katie Ryan. All right, Keith, a couple days ago, we had a big time game, UCSB in Akron. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, it started off furious. So off the post there for Santa Barbara, down the other end, and this is Santa Barbara slipping the box. Darren Maddox off the crossbar for Santa Barbara, and now it is Aiden Quinn hits the ball. It's off the post as well. It's three things off the post, no goal yet until right now, late in the first half. Darren Maddox gets the ball, slips it by the keeper, Andrew Grant. One nothing for Akron going there, but in the second half, Santa Barbara turns it on, crossed by Dom Sarl, and there it is, Luis. Silva at the back post equalizing it just two minutes later the cross comes in it's kept alive and watch this goal by Dom Sarl one of the goals of the year putting Santa Barbara up two to one unusual position for Akron but they come back the substitute Thomas Schmidt at the back post equalizing on that shot there and this will take the game into overtime and early into overtime James Kiffey goes beats one player beats two player the cross Luis Silva second goal of the game the game winner for Santa Barbara the shirt comes off, and UCSB with a big win on the NSCA Game of the Week. And here in Portland, the Pilots disappoint 
their fans. They lose to San Diego by a score of one to nothing. Keep the bat snake in. I'll tell you what, Patrick Wallen was the West Coast Conference Player of the Year a year ago, and he's starting to get going now. Yeah, well, they hope he's getting going. He had one goal going into this, but here was the one that was the difference in the game, and this is Steven Posey going down the left side. An outstanding cross, and there's Wallen coming in in the back post there with the header. Have another look at it as he comes in. Patrick Wallen, second goal of the year, and this is the goal that gives San Diego the win here at Portland. And they silence the crowd. Well, Tuesday will be in Charleston for Ralph Lundy's College of Charleston taking on Jay Vidovich. Wake Forest, that's Tuesday at 7 p.m. And then on Friday, a doubleheader. First men's, UMBC in New Hampshire. And then women's, Arizona State and Stanford as the NSCA Game of the Week rolls on on Fox Soccer. Your men's college soccer review is presented by the NSCAA with over 30,000 members at all levels of the game. The NSCAA is the largest soccer coaches organization in the world. Join now, take advantage of exclusive member benefits, and become a better coach today at NSCAA.com.